we turn plastics into bricks. Uh, when we began this project, we were collecting all sorts of waste. For example, plastic, uh, cans, uh, glass, uh, bottles. Uh, but as we moved on, we realized that uh, plastic pollution uh, was the major uh, sort, type of uh, waste that was being dumped in the illegal places. So that's when we came with this initiative uh, to process plastic waste into building materials like bricks, uh, pavement tiles and roof tiles. Uh, plastic waste is a global problem because plastic does not biodegrade. So it takes up to a thousand years for plastic to break down. All this thousand years it starts to clog up into our water sources, into our streets and it causes environmental problems because according to Emma we produce up to 300,000 tons annually, more than 300,000 tons annually of plastic waste in Zimbabwe alone and only 11% is being recycled. The rest is either in the streets, in our water sources or places that we can't account for, even our landfills. Uh, with our um, baseline survey that we conducted in 2021-2022 in Kweru district, in our baseline survey we find out that over 90% of the waste that is being dumped in communities is actually plastic pollution. So from that baseline survey, it also prompted us to actually do this intervention to target plastic pollution. Got about four trucks, but a few compactor trucks. Then we got one skip truck and some two tractors with soft tipping trailers. That's that, the, 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 the ones we are using to, to carry the waste to the dump site, the fed and dump site. So those are the only vehicles that we're using. Unfortunately, we should be having about 12 refuse compactor trucks due to the urban growth. But um, we've got three or four only, so that's what we're using. My organization, Safari like Environment Trust, they are helping us a lot. Because they are also removing the waste that we that is being generated that we are not able to collect. Since I told you we need about half, but we are using only four refuse trucks at the moment. So they are helping us a lot to do the work to clean the environment. For our plastic processing machine, uh, at full capacity, we are looking at uh, shredding 250 kgs of plastic waste per hour. That transcends to two tons of plastic on an eight hour shift. So working on a seven day shift, per month we are looking at eliminating 60 tons of plastic waste from the community. Basari waste collection ni ndaka rufunga mshuru mpunge ndaona uti nduku tambuzika ndi nyasuku riritira vana vana wada kuenda chukoro choti mabasa mabasa chwa kuna saka ndaka wana uti ndungo tishwa kwa oma ndaka gara ndaka wana chwele shunuri singadi chwele singadi ndupa nangu chanisa onjiri ndaka asi wa mararai wa ya ya chwa anunzi anu tingeswa ndika manu unga o ndika tazo ukurara mire uh, there are so many stigmas associated with waste management, especially if you are in the waste picking uh, sector. So people feel that if you are picking up waste or if you are a waste picker, that means that there is poverty around you. That means that you are now mad or crazy because you are now picking up waste, meaning there is no direction to you. You are not 
not going anywhere in life, you have no vision without seeing or understanding that the person can actually sell the waste and make money, that it is also a green job for waste picking to be done. We have a group that is involved in the collection of plastic waste. Uh, for this group, uh, they collect the plastic waste and we actually buy the plastic waste from this group. So it has a pinda or does a pinda or much come to so it. Vacam, we have a kind of thing around the place and Naga Chesh. Was they were taking it fifty cents per kg and the Vacayakas on the Torera Pamba after Vacanga by the supply and the ma beer. Was my beer right into my tinga foot. Sagap and Rapina Mogadis, she is so it all concerned supply and my beer, but concerned supply and my gloves. One of the major challenges that we have in our city, the city of Gweru, is the issue to do with waste management. So whenever you have organizations that are coming up with innovations, innovations to deal with waste management, these are innovations that are welcome. Uh, one of the issues, one of the greatest issues that we had with uh, the issue of plastics is the issue of sewer blockages. If you look at sewer blockages, the challenge that is emanating from sewer blockages is the siltation or uh, water hyacinth that is happening in the in the Inquiry River. It is also a challenge that is emanating from from the waste or disposal of plastics that is not being done properly. So I think uh, this innovation will actually help us in terms of minimizing sewer blockages, in terms of minimizing the challenges that we are already facing uh, in Gweru River. The goal of this project, we want to eliminate plastic totally in the environment. There are some initiatives that are being done um, in our communities, organizations, companies uh, that aim to uh, recycle plastic. But the challenge is they are producing another plastic, which is also another problem that is also emanating. So the processing companies may be thinking that they are actually reducing the amount of plastic in the environment, but in turn they are producing a, another plastic. So with the goal of this project, we aim to totally eliminate plastic from the environment. So the machine uh, that we are using to address issues of plastic waste uh, in Gweru district this machine was designed in South Africa by Crutchfield Engineering. Uh, we got this uh, machine through funding from uh, Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program under the UNDP uh, in 2021. So our machine is divided into three key components. Firstly, we have got a shredder. So uh, for the shredder, we take uh, any forms of plastic. That's the beauty about our machine, is that it takes all forms of plastic. It can be HD, it can be PP, it can be PET, any forms of plastic that you can think of. Then we shred that plastic into small granules. From those um, small granules, we put it into the extruder. We put sand into an extruder. Then this sand in the extruder is heated up to about 350 degrees Celsius. Then after heating the sand, it then is put into some mixers. This, the mixers now then mix the shredded plastic and the sand, the heated sand. When the, those two are mixed, we, it produces a mold. Then once that is done, it, it is put in some different kind of molders, like for example, if you want a brick, uh, this one, or if you want a tile or any other product that you might want, you can then put and then it is pressed in those uh, as the final output of the, of the processing. Uh, through this project, there's employment creation. For example, our processing machine actually is operated by 15 people at one go. So there are 15 uh, op employment opportunities that are being created through the implementation of this project. I know there's, there are some concerns that have been raised by communities in terms of the durability, uh, the fire resistance of this brick and the water resistance of this brick. So I can actually assure you that um, the testing that we've done for this uh, pavement tile is that it can withstand over 30 tons of weight. 
that can be put. So you can actually park a truck uh, on this end, it never breaks. In terms of water resistance, uh, we have actually put these uh, bricks on, on in water and other liquids and it has remained the same. Fire resistance, which is also critical, uh, people are asking uh, if it is made from plastic, then it should actually burn. This brick can actually withstand up to 95 degrees of heat and I believe it can actually increase uh, beyond that. So in terms of fire resistance, uh, there's no fear of, uh, of it getting burned. We will turn out this at the button up. In the June, which is a little bit of a silver pass, but I really like to take a little bit of a silver pass. Now, put it at Tina, we will turn over, put it in the material. Put it at the main form, we can have my growth versus the Batisa. At Tina, we will turn over, put it at the main recycling. Pasokanya kundi batira. Dino mwana anga chinyora form 4, last day but one. Ndaka yita mashukubu. Ndofunga almost titani reshukubu rima plastic. Shima yeo shia shia. Shanga shuga zara pisa pa mruko onapa. Ndaka tengesa. Ndaka kwansa ubadura mwana exa mfi. Ndaka kwansa kunyora. Sika from there, ndaka banda koshe saba sayro. Kwa ndiri, dino tona rakato koshe nda rindi nyadzisi. Inini ndino tishuruku ndipa punduzu. No, put in the city, John Dipa Pontus. Yes, you know, and Dina and Dishakansaka, and I put in Dinets and I can never nature or put it, and Dina Maria Saut, and Dina Maria Chakat. Do not talk to Vanotos on the way there. Pane and we and Dinig and Dichishand. Yang was rich, go here. I seem to know not is you know Dipa. The Guelo City, still in a program, ye cleaning the environment, ye do my community cleaning cleanups. Why? I discovered it. T1 to produce at the West. T1 traffic to the West EOL. T1 to Kanganis to the West EOL. So I wanted everybody, since I am with our the president, to be responsible. So Takato is scheduled ya September to December to, to October, whereby every day my communities will minimum cleanups. Whereby to put it, Rara Swanewe, Richard Swanewe, Richie Chengetenza Ewe. When it comes to waste management, it is everyone's duty. We all play a role. How do we now do this? When you are walking in the streets, you can put your waste in the bin, not on the street. When you are at home, separate your waste. Drop it in areas where people would want to recycle if you can't do it yourself. Communicate with waste pickers. Let them come pick up the waste at your house. Be part of the change. Be part of the community that's trying to make a difference. It is not an organization's duty. It is not a government's duty. But it is your duty as an individual to also make a change within the environment that you live in. This is our land, our country. So we make the difference, the difference together.